When horses exercise or compete in unusually hot weather, they can suffer from heat exhaustion or heat stroke. Heat stroke and heat exhaustion are two different syndromes under the category of heat stress. Heat stroke generally occurs when there's an increased production of heat in the horse's body compared with heat loss mechanisms. This can occur in high environmental temperatures, especially in a horse that's not acclimatized to that hot environment, or even in a stall confinement situation where there's not enough airflow and the horse cannot lose enough heat compared with its environment. Some of the signs and symptoms seen with heat stroke uh, include a depressed attitude, a decrease in sweating after a period of time, trembling muscles, dry membranes in the mouth. What we would do for that is try to cool the horse down. And, and this is an emergency situation. It, the horse's body temperature may be as high as 106 to 110 degrees, and the most injured organ when the temperatures reach that level is the brain. What we would first do is apply cold water over the horse's entire body, concentrating especially on the head, over the neck where the jugular veins are, the armpit areas, and in the flanks and groins. These are where large blood vessels are that can cool down when you apply cold water. It may even be helpful to take a scraper and scrape off the warmed water off the horse's body and then reapply more cold water. You can even apply ice packs around the head, neck, uh, armpits, and flank regions to help cool the horse. In severe cases of heat stroke, the horse may even collapse. And this is a, a critical situation that requires veterinary attention and probably even an intravenous catheter and intravenous fluid administration to restore the horse's fluid and electrolyte balance and to help cool it down. Heat exhaustion is another syndrome of, of the category of heat stress and this generally occurs in the performance horses when they've had prolonged exercise in hot environments and have lost large amounts of fluid through sweat as well as electrolytes. These horses demonstrate similar signs to heat stroke and may have severe electrolyte depletion that would require intravenous fluid therapy and electrolyte replacement. Some of the signs that uh, also might occur with this are, are colic or even tying up signs that would be associated with the abnormal electrolyte situation.